Hey, I'm Blake Burris. I'm here at Techstars Mobility in Detroit at Ford Field. Happy to be here with Ted Serbinski today. How are you, Ted? Doing great. Happy to be here with you guys. Yeah, it's great to be back. This is a second trip in about uh, less than two months, I think. We were here the first week you guys opened and the week that Venley announced our, our funding, our A-Round funding. And uh, last night was our second meetup here in Detroit for Connected Car. So I just want to take a few minutes to talk with you about uh, what's happened here in the last few months. I know you got a cohort, the first cohort, wrapping up in the next uh, few weeks, and uh, talk to you about what, you know, what brought you to uh, Detroit from San Francisco. I believe. I know you had some great aspirations when you decided to come out here, and been here for what about four years now? Yes, four years now. And how's um, what were your original I- ideas about coming out, and uh, how's that played out over the last few years? Yeah, I think moving out here was more of almost an experiment. So I got an- engaged. My wife's from the area, and I had no idea what I was getting myself into, and really discovered like a passion for Detroit. And I've always been a car guy, and so now really combining my startup passion with my automotive passion, and really operating at that intersection with Techstars Mobility, and it's been an, an absolute blast here. Well, this is the place to do it. I think I've seen more than a few big uh, auto names around town in these buildings. Uh, it's been a lot of stories around the U.S. about Detroit and you know its its history over the last few years. But I've really felt you know a real uh, sort of resurgence, maybe renaissance of uh, entrepreneurial interest because there's certainly the uh, the depth of experience in the auto industry. So you mentioned TechStars Mobility. I know TechStars is a brand most people watching this do. Uh, tell us a bit about that vertical orientation around mobility and, and why the word mobility. Yeah, so this is a brand new TechStars program. It's a consortium model. So it's set up to work with multiple corporate partners um, with a mobility thesis. And mobility to us is any technology that addresses the movement of people, goods, and services. And for this, um, we've partnered with eight leading mobility companies. We announced the program in December of 2014 with Ford, Verizon, and Magna. And since then, we've brought on Dana, Honda, McDonald's, Munich Re, and Michelin to really round that out. And really, mobility affects everyone. It's not just the auto guys. Um, it affects companies like McDonald's that think of themselves at their core as a transportation company. And uh, how did you go up, or when did you start the uh, recruitment of the first cohort, and how? what was the quality of uh, you know, applications you saw, and how did you end up with your core group? So back in December of 2014, when we announced the program, Bill Ford announced Techstars Mobility to the world, and applications opened. Uh, applications were open until about mid-March of 2015, and we saw a worldwide response. We saw applications from six continents, so everywhere but Antarctica, across 42 countries, and hundreds and hundreds of applications companies working on next generation mobility solutions, wanting to come to Detroit to really build out their technology and build their business. That's super exciting. And you ended up with a cohort of, was it 10? Yeah, so we took 10 companies. Uh, The 10 companies we took, uh, nine of them were US based, Uh, one was from Canada, and only one was from Michigan. And so we saw companies from all across the US relocating to Detroit this summer to work on their mobility companies. Which is commonly expected in these, uh, you know, this whole uh, wave of um, accelerator programs since Techstars first kicked off. So I'd, I'd imagine that some of them have decided this may be a future home. Yes. Yeah, so about three to four of the companies, or thirty to forty percent of our class, is thinking about either staying here or opening up a permanent office. And so it's really great to see that they're really seeing the value of having a high-tech mobility startup based in Detroit. That'd be exciting. I'm sure the EDC folks locally would be. Uh, uh, excited to think of the next Twitter or what have you to be based in Detroit. Exactly. Everyone's just amazed by the response. The companies themselves are actually amazed at what's going on here. And a lot of them had mixed reactions coming to Detroit. And now they're they're like, wow, my heart's in Detroit. I really love this place. And I, I'm thinking about actually moving my company here. And I think on demo day, one or two of them will announce they're actually moving here permanently. Very exciting. And speaking of that demo day, what uh, what is that going to look like for you guys? So demo day for us is on September 10th. Um, that's kind of the culmination of the program. It's when we celebrate all the companies, bring the community together, bring investors and corporate partners. And right now we have over 500 people RSVP, RSVP'd for this event. And it's looking like it's going to be a great day. I'm really celebrating mobility in Detroit and startups. And really excited about that. So given the areas that mobility touches, you talk about people, goods, and services in, in a city, um, what, what are the biggest impact areas you expect? Because I think about you know, affecting traffic in cities, safety, energy efficiency, or maybe resource efficiency. This is a real theme in sort of this new area called urban technology around which Google has set up a new company, Sidewalk and Labs, mm-hmm. and a real personal interest of mine, and an area we think Bentley has a lot of opportunity. But across those key areas, where do you see maybe this first cohort or maybe a longer term Techstars Mobility Program having an impact? Yeah, so the, the first year, the themes we saw, the biggest themes, um, the first big theme was around safety. So autonomous vehicles, sensors, technologies that help that, that was a really big theme. We saw a lot around trucking and logistics 
new types of applications using new devices on the market. We saw a lot around the energy side, uh, new battery design, electric, electric vehicles. We also saw a lot around um, urban mobility and companies that are kind of taking on like the Uber-like model, but um, taking it in all kinds of different directions. Let me touch on a bit about challenges. So uh, throughout this process, maybe moving to Detroit and starting Techstars Mobility, what have been some of the key challenges that you maybe didn't anticipate? Um, I think the, the biggest challenge facing Detroit and startups here is the perception of Detroit and getting investors to come here, getting companies to relocate. It's really their perception of Detroit. But we saw in this program that companies that relocated here absolutely love it. They're thinking about moving here permanently. And as we start to get a lot of investors coming here for the first time, they're really amazed at what's going on in Detroit. And that's the biggest challenge is just that perception. Um, and it's very easy to overcome once someone comes here and visits they're sold for life, but it's really that initial jump. How do we get them to come here and change their perception? Yeah, weather isn't everything, though. 350 days of sunshine in Boulder ain't bad. No. <laughs> the, we run the program in the summer for a reason. Six months out of the year, it's, it's gorgeous in Michigan. The other six months, not so much. Um, but I'd like to say I'd rather be here than on the, the coast. We don't get the, the extreme weather one way or the other. It's just consistently cold and snowy versus kind of those nor'easters that hit the uh, east coast. Yeah, we all know that San Francisco has a new hipster restaurant every day of the week, but that $15 bowl of chili uh, kind of puts a dent in the, the budget for most. <laughs> yes, although with Detroit now, we're seeing almost a new restaurant um, every other week opening right now. Um, I used to keep up with a 24 Hours in Detroit favorite restaurants. That is significantly out of date. I'm seeing every month three or four new restaurants opening around the area. So let's switch the, switch the topic a bit to an idea I know that you originally had, this idea of doing, a, doing something with the old Detroit City Airport in town, uh, the idea for a mobility park, if you will, for research, kind of that next-gen effort around you know, uh, planning for vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications, DSRC world, vehicle to infrastructure, maybe even vehicle to things flying in the air. Yeah, so one of our goals with Techstars Mobility is working with the broader ecosystem and really helping make Detroit the mobility hub of the world. Henry Ford introduced mobility of the world over 100 years ago. We're trying to bring all this next generation mobility technology back to Detroit. So Techstars Mobility is only one piece of that puzzle. At the Detroit City Airport, there's this great piece of land where there's already um, vehicle testing going on. There's some drone testing. It's when Warren Buffett comes to town, that's where he flies into. It's this great little hub of activity. And we got to thinking, how could we turn this space into something usable, something mobility focused? And the concept of the Detroit Mobility Park was born out of that. Yeah, we're going to get up and see uh, John Romanelli later at the Detroit Aircraft Corp and hopefully get some, some good video of him flying those drones and uh, talking a bit more about that. And uh, Vinley certainly hopes, hopes to be involved uh, from an R&D perspective. Uh, we've got some great talent here in the, in the area. And, of course, our CEO, whom you heard speak last night or heard part of it, uh, actually went to school and did his grad work at Tardec. So looking forward to following up on that. Uh, on another subject, uh, I want to tell the uh, folks here listening about, uh, we talked yesterday about uh, the upcoming plan to do a hackathon around the Detroit Auto Show. And uh, maybe we should tell everybody a bit about our plan to kind of coordinate, coordinate that activity and to create uh, a big stage for developers from around the world to come here and kind of crank on some app ideas uh, during that time in January. Yeah, so the Detroit Auto Show, um, second week of January, is one of the largest auto shows in the world and one of the most prominent. And what we want to see is really those startup developers, you guys in the audience that are building cool new connected car apps, coming to Detroit, building those apps. Uh, Techstars Mobility Applications for 2016 will be opening that week. And so we'd love to be using that as a tool to help promote the program, giving companies that come here that are building things, hacking on things, an outlet to actually start to fundraise, be part of a much bigger program. And as you know, the, uh, the network of uh, the, the, the meetup here we hosted last night at Techstars Mobility is one of many where we've helped to um, catalyze around the world. We've got leaders in uh, places like Tel Aviv, uh, around uh, Europe, Germany, and France, starting one in London, and about a dozen or more in the U.S. So I think those will become a great feeder mechanism for people connecting locally. Maybe they meet their team members there, they work on app ideas, and then they can come participate here uh, on-site during the auto show, get some prominence potentially on stage at the auto show. I think that's one of the ideas there. And then the ones that are a good fit for Techstars could be some really great uh, deal flow. Exactly, and like we really see this as, a, as part of the entire the value chain and so startups that are working on things all around the world, coming to Detroit, being part of this program with eight different corporate partners, and really giving them a way to connect into the automotive, the connected car world, these next generation mobility solutions, we really see ourselves as a catalyst for the region and bringing those companies to Detroit. 
Well, it's exciting to see some of Venley's backers as part of that mix, including Samsung uh, GIC. I know uh, Christina was up here recently. Uh, Riley Brennan from the Bay with his uh, excellent newsletter. If you guys don't know about Future of Mobility, I plug that. I think I get a nickel every time I say that. But uh, <laughs> it's a great newsletter. It's a great newsletter. Uh, so I think a lot of that crew will be on site in January. We'll be announcing some of the details on that uh, very soon. So let's uh, let's wrap this up. Uh, tell everyone where to find you online and Techstars Mobility. Yeah, so you can find uh, everything about Techstars Mobility online at techstars.com slash mobility. Um, I regularly blog at tedserbinski.com, really active on Twitter. Um, if you have thoughts, ideas around Connected Car Detroit, feel free to drop me a line. I tend to be pretty responsive in helping to build the community here and then also driving the, the next generation of mobility startups in Detroit. That's awesome. And if you guys would uh, hashtag anything out there, you, you post with Connected Car and or Urban Mobility, if that happens to be more of your broader interest, uh, both of us will pick that up. Um, and tell folks about uh, submitting to the next round of Techstar uh, Mobility. Yeah, so applications for next year open in January. They're going to open at the auto show. Uh, until then, if you have any thoughts or you're thinking about applying, feel free to drop me a line online. Um, you can find my email just right on my website or shoot me a, a tweet. And then applications will be opening um, right at the auto show. Fantastic. And wrap it up. You can find me at Blake Burris uh, on Twitter and Vinley at Vinley Dev. Or if you're interested in actually building uh, apps for connected car, you can uh, check out our dev portal at uh, dev.ven.li. Thanks, Ted. Cool. Thanks for having me, guys. Awesome. Ciao.